bring in Fox News political editor Chris Steyerwalt uh, right now joining the conversation. Chris, good to see you. Thanks very much for joining us. Good morning, good morning. And before I get to your expectations, I want to turn to uh, Rudy Giuliani here uh, in our studios. And Mr. Mayor, what, what's your take as we approach this first full week? for President Trump. We know from his senior advisors that trade and immigration are going to be two areas that we could see executive orders. Yeah, I think he's going to try to get off to a very strong start. I mean, he already did. I mean, on, he began working uh, the day after going to the CIA and uh, signing a, a several executive orders already. I think uh, trade, I think he is going to try and uh, uh, get an immigration package art articulated and, and he is going to begin the NAFTA negotiations. Uh, as, as soon as possible. Also, the meeting with the Prime Minister of England is going to be very interesting because they were kind of on the opposite side of Brexit. Yeah. She was in favor of remaining, he was against, now she's in favor of it. So I think that, that'll tell us a lot about the bilateral trade relationships we're going to have. That's going to be important. It's going to be a security team in place. What do you think of the national security team? Well, I think it's an excellent national security th uh, team, and I think that the uh, Senate has been com uh, completely irresponsible in not putting that national security team in place on time uh, for him to be president of the United States, as they usually try to do. Uh, probably the CIA should get filled today, and I, I hope that Tolleson is, uh, is done by, by the end of the week, and then he'll, ha he'll have pretty much his whole team together. Yeah, we'll see about that. Chris Starwold, what about that? I mean, Newt Gingrich joined me yesterday on Fox News and basically said Schumer is being petty. Uh, at this time, during Obama's uh, first 100 days, he had seven cabinet picks confirmed. Trump has two. Well, yes, but, and the, or maybe yes and. The and is, it's Washington. Of course you're being petty. Uh, it's what they do. It's, it's how they roll. Uh, one challenge that the team Trump has is that they're bringing in a lot of people who don't have uh, government records, government service. They're bringing people from the outside. That does slow it down a little bit. But yes, of course, Schumer's trying to uh, exercise maximum leverage against Trump. Uh, but national security is an area that you will pay a heavy price if it looks like you're playing games. And that's why I'm sure today is the day for CIA. All right, so today's the day for CIA. What about Rex Tillerson? What are you expecting from the other uh, cabinet picks, in, in particular having to do with, uh, you know, national security? I mean, well, the, people talk about Jeff Sessions. Yeah. Sessions. Sessions nailed it. He scored fantastically well. He had a great hearing. He's going to get confirmed. Tillerson now looks, now that uh, John McCain, Lindsey Graham, and other Republican senators who had been standoffish say they're in, it looks like he, it might not be a slam dunk, but it'll be a, a, a solid confirmation. Go ahead, Mr. Mayor. You wanted to say yeah, I, I agree with that. But, you know, actually, uh, the people they're holding up do have government experience. The head of the CIA is, is a United States senator. Uh, Dan Coates, who's going to be um, uh, the DNI, uh, head of DNI, uh, has extensive government experience as a senator or ambassador. So the reality is, except for Tillerson, these people have significant government experience, no different than the people Obama appointed. And uh, this is just part of uh, the warfare that apparently the Democrats want to have with the uh, with, with the president. I think the, the bigger question is on his economics team, and he's got none of those people in place. Uh, you know, when you, when you look at Steve Mnuchin, you have people with very complicated financial backgrounds, ethics disclosures that they've got to, that they've got to get cleared, and they are falling behind the track, and they haven't been confirmed. Well, man, but the, the, the reality is Obama had people with a lot of significant background problems also. Organizations they belonged to, organizations that were extremely controversial. Uh, uh, he, had a, he had to actually drop a few. Well, and Tim, uh, Tim Geithner and, and, with his tax problems. Yeah, I mean, so come yeah. on. I mean, That's a good point. Uh, he got a lot more through than, than, than uh, this president did. And uh, gosh, don't we want successful people in office? I mean, I, I would want someone run, running as a CEO of, let's say, uh, the State Department, which is a vast organization, someone who has run a vast organization. That, problem, pro that man probably is going to be wealthy, or a woman. You can mm -hmm. see the Democrats are already keying right into that narrative, though, as you saw with Bernie Sanders in, in the Senate yeah. hearing. Let's get a bunch of people you know. who've never done anything and never well, had a job. Right. Well, that, that's one <laughs> that's of the easy. issues. You can, you, can, you can vet them very easily. You, you know, they made $22 a week, and that's it. Well, this, this is one of the issues, Chris Starwalt, that keeps coming up because, I mean, take Betsy DeVos, for example. Senator mm -hmm. Elizabeth Warren was hammering her uh, because she never took out a student loan. 
Well, was that appropriate? I mean, some of the questions coming from the left during these confirmation hearings are bizarre. I mean, you know, like I mentioned earlier with Steven Mnuchin, one senator uh, this week said to, her, said to him, can you confirm that your boss is known for firing people? Because yeah. that's his tagline on The Apprentice, you're fired. I mean, you would think that they would put more work into this if you're interviewing the Treasury for the sec you know, Treasury Secretary incoming, you, you want to talk about more meaningful matters. Can I, I hate to have to tell you this uh, because it's our <laughs> stock and trade here in Washington, but most of these hearings don't amount to a hill of beans. They're nothing. Uh, because, and every time you see the Washington Post, New York Times say, grilling on hill, massive hearing, 98% of the time, it's nothing. Because what does it come down to? It comes down to whip and votes. What's your count? And the magic number is 51. If you've got 51, you get confirmed. If you have 49, you do not. That's the price of poker. And what Democrats say to uh, Republicans, what Republicans say to Democrats doesn't matter. Those are just sound bites that they're putting out there for their reelection campaigns and to raise money on. Chris, I have a quick question. Um, you know, the, yes. the protests over the weekend and, and all this opposition now that was as seen by the senators in these committee hearings, obviously they're signaling to their base. How strong do you think, right? Because you saw the Tea Party in 2010, right out of Obama's you know, inauguration. Mm -hmm. They were strong. Uh, are you seeing the same strength in the Democratic Party? Are Republicans going to have to watch out in 2018? Well, the first midterm is almost always bad. George W. Bush, had, uh, his party gained seats in 2002, but that was because of 9-11, and the Republicans were in a particularly strong position then. But generally, the first midterm is hard. Senate is a different situation this time because Democrats had such a good cycle six years ago. Yeah. Uh, they have a lot of fat in the fire, and they look to be playing defense now. But it all comes down to this. All of this discussion comes down to one thing. If median household income grows for Americans and the country has not experienced a substantial terrorist attack, Donald Trump will be deemed a successful president, yeah. and it doesn't matter what he tweets. Right, and if he does well, um, th then all of these haters or skeptics are, will, will likely get in line.